If you wanna figure out how to make great MoGrid files for your videos, then you don't wanna miss a single second of this video. So let's dive into it. So we have a lower third here that we made. If you wanna see how to make this in detail, then check out the video link below. Also, if you wanna download this lower third for free to use, check the description for that. So this lower third we created, we wanna make into a MoGrid template. So I'm in After Effects. So now I'm gonna to go to my Essential Graphics. Under Primary, I'm selecting my composition. Now in my text layer dropdown, I'll find source text and I'll drag that up into the essentials graphics window. And you'll see a text box appears. So that's what's gonna be in your template. I'll select the edit properties button and make sure these three properties are selected so we can edit the font size, the faux styles and everything in our template. Now we'll do the same thing, but I'll drag my position parameter into the essential graphics panel. So this way we could tweak the position of our text when we end up changing it. Now we really can't change the color parameter because remember our upper text is transparent, but if we add a fill effect to it, then we could add the color parameter and we could toggle that on and off. More about that later. So let's create a group from the bottom left dropdown and we can organize our parameters a bit. So I'll move all my upper text parameters into the first group and I'll make another group and add my lower parameters in there and I'll make sure to grab my lower text position parameter. And let's change the fill color to white. And we could add a parameter for the rectangle color. Find that. And I'll call it, I'll label it rectangle color. And then we could add one more for the stroke color as well. So I'll find that and drag that on there. And lastly, we can't forget to add the source text box for the lower text as well. So I'll drag that on there. Okay, so now the moment of truth. Now let's export motion graphics template. It'll ask you to save. So you say a dialog box will pop up asking you for a save destination. You could change it to your local drive or keep it in your cloud library. Add some keywords so it's easy to find. Hit okay and let's move to Premiere. Now here I have my sequence in Premiere. This is one of my old videos, finding the perfect music for your edit. Links above, check it out. So I'll go to Window, Essential Graphics. I'll type in my search and I'll type lower third. And once I find it, I'll drag it right into my sequence. And there's my lower third. So if you go to the Edit tab, then you can edit all your parameters from here. So there it is, there's my lower third. Looks great. And one other thing I added later on that you did not see was an opacity slider to the fill layer so we could actually adjust the transparency of the upper text depending on what we overlay it on. So there you have it guys. So if you use a lot of the same assets for each video, like lower thirds, transitions, then creating a Mogur template is probably your best bet. It'll speed up the process and trust me, it's a game changer. I use it myself a lot. If you want that lower third for your videos, check the description below and you can download it. Hope this video helps your videos in the future. See you next time.